I hope you all saw my video about the Sohoi SU27 flanker in digital camo, because now it's time to move on to the next project. Welcome to the unboxing of the Eurofighter Typhoon single seater from Revell in 70 second scale. The kit number is 04317 and the finished aircraft will have a length of 22 centimeters. This kit has 170 parts and is a rebox from 2007. Since 2016, Revell uses a new tool which only has about half the number of parts while also offering high detail. Here on the side you can see the detailed cockpit and a variety of weapons. This Eurofighter comes in the difficulty 4 and you can build Eurofighters from the German, Royal, Italian, Spanish and Austrian Air Force. I will build this special library of an Austrian Eurofighter for the National Pride group build, more to that later. Here the manual which gives you some basic information about the Eurofighter, then some safety instructions and here the used paints. Then an overview of the sprues and here the actual instructions begin with the cockpit. You continue with the engines and wings, then the landing gear, refueling probe and air brake. For the cockpit glass you need to scratch build these supports which looks a bit complicated to me. But I will most likely build the rear fighter with a closed canopy anyways. Then you continue with the armament based on the air force you want to build. You can choose between air-to-air -air and air-to-ground armament and also mount fuel tanks. And finally the decaling instructions for the German and Austrian Air Force, the Royal Air Force, the Italian Air Force and finally the Spanish Air Force. I already gave most of the decals to a friend so here are just the common decals and those for the weapons and cockpit. I will build an Austrian Eurofighter but I also won't be using these decals because I got myself something special. In 2019 the Air Power Air Show took place in Austria. For that occasion the Austrian Air Force presented a special paint job on the rudder of one of their Eurofighters. And this is what I got from Brand Air Decals. Admittedly this doesn't look as ornate as some of the other special paint jobs for the Eurofighter. But when I visited the air show, the Eurofighters flew just above my head in the spotter area and that pursued me to get these decals. If you want to see the exceptional performance of these Austrian pilots, just check out the 4K video on my channel. So this is what the decals look like, maybe a bit grainy, but I'm sure it will look nice. There are also decals for the fuel tanks and the correct registration. I got another 70 second scale Eurofighter, on which I will most likely use these decals from the German Richthofen fighter wing. Something else I own are the decals for the 60 years of Luftwaffe anniversary, but I probably won't use them. Now for the parts of the kit. First off the canopy which is packed separately. Then the main fuselage with fine panel lines and nice detail in the landing gear base. Over here the engines and the engine nozzles. Bit of flash on the wheels, but nothing to worry about. Then the fuselage halves with the rudders. Again, nice surface detail. The parts for the landing gear and here the instrument panel with large MFDs. The ejection seat which looks very detailed and I also like the cockpit detail. A 
And here are some pylons and Sidewinder missiles. Another part for the cockpit. And here the air brake. Then the armament. I will use these S-Rams as a substitute for the smoke generators on the Austrian Eurofighter. Here the Taurus and Storm Shadow cruise missiles for the German or Royal Air Force. Two fuel tanks which I will also equip to my Eurofighter. And here are the air intakes. I had some difficulties with those when I first built this Eurofighter, but we will see. Here are some more missiles and that was the last sprue. So as I said, I already built an Eurofighter when I started modeling again and this is it. It's a German twin-seater and as you can clearly see, I brush painted it. I don't even know what happened here, it just looks terrible. Brush streaks all over and there is silvering on the decals because I did not even know about gloss coats, decal saw and stuff like that back then. The engines are okay-ish, but overall this really needs a replacement. Next problem is that I don't even like twin seaters. And the missiles, as far as I remember, I used duct tape to fix the decals on them. So I hope that I can soon replace this beginner's mistake with my Austrian Eurofighter single seater for the National Pride group build. Check my Facebook page for updates on this group build. So that was my unboxing, thanks for watching, bye!